As students would be thrilled to see a singer whose song was number one for 11 consecutive weeks here at Aganis Arena. However, that has not been the case for Robin Thicke, whose song Blurred Lines has generated plenty of controversy because of his lyrics and explicit music video. Currently at Aganis, there's a solid sheet of ice reserved for Boston University's hockey team. But on March 4, there will be a concert stage as Robin Thicke comes to perform his controversial song, Blurred Lines, here in Boston. However, because of lyrics like, I know you want it, some terriers are angry and are saying, we don't want it. I think it's objectifying towards women, and I, I do think that it promotes rape culture. The humanists of Boston University, who are a social justice and activist organization, have organized a petition citing that the song reinforces rape culture. Um, I think it's appropriate and valid. As of this morning, the petition has already garnered almost 3,000 signatures, but a university spokesman says that it's unlikely that the concert is canceled because the university had nothing to do with booking the show. Yeah, I've had many friends who've talked about it, so I, I've seen, I've signed it. So Blurred Lines hit number one in 14 countries. The song has also been criticized for its explicit music video, but those who defend Thick say that this is all much ado about nothing. I understand where people are coming from, but I mean, they gotta understand like his music side and his real life side are two different things. So. I feel like it's just a movement, like there's, there's a, all these petitions all the time and I don't know if it means that much anymore. Blurred Lines has also caused uh, p personal problems for Robin Thicke's life as well, as he recently separated from his wife of eight years, Paula Patton. He recently postponed a concert in North Carolina because of this as he tries to patch things up with his wife. For BUTV News at Noon, this is Andre Kachaturian.